calculus of variation. It's a simple application of differential calculus used to locate the minimum or maximum. Uh, in this case, is um, a curve from two points. And you can see it's, it's this equation. Later on, I will show you the application, important application of this method. So, uh, a criteria to find a maximum or minimum is called Euler's equation. And you can see from two points, P1 to Q1, and there are many curves that can go from P to Q. And you want to find the integral of one of the curve that is minimum or maximum is called stationary but this is a, a curve and later on maybe a surface something like that so you can see to find a minimum maximum of this uh, integer and this may be represent of a physical problem and then you assume uh, a different a little different of the original curve y x and you use the Taylor expansion of two variable and you come up with this uh, uh, Euler's equation so as long as it for few Euler's equation is stationary, that means it's maximum or minimum. So these are Taylor expansion of two variable. So Taylor expansion of two variables. And the so you can see the Uh, it can go to the N, so this is a general form. First, N equal 1, N equal 2, all the way to N. And now your Euler equation is this one. This is the Euler equation equal to 0. It means it's stationary or is maximum or minimum. So there are three, some other cases. Case one, if F is expressive independent of Y, Euler equation becomes this one. Case two, if F is expressively independent of Y derivative, then it's derivative Y against derivative F divided by y is equal to 0. If f is expressed independent of x, and this function actually is a variable of x, y, and y prime. So let's see this example. First example. And this are example 2. And you can actually get the equation for the curve or the maximum or minimum values. So these are some examples. Example 1, the value is actually 5 pi divided by 2. And this example, the curve is y equal to 2x, something like that. Next, I will show you some examples from books. So calculus of variation, and you can see all the figure with equal parameter. The circle include a great area, and this is the same cross section, same high, 
and these are the greatest uh, solid revolution of volume something like that and you can see from P1 to P2 and these are derivatives of Euler differential equation so you get Euler differential equation the same thing assuming a little bit different from Fy so these are extreme value that's mean a stationary value and eventually you get Euler differential equation and it can be a second order like this differential equation and these are some condition occurring extrema stationary for example this one and this one and variation problem with uh, side condition let's say we say the ISO parameter problem before we mention and side condition in equation form and you can see this equation is uh, have application in geodesic lines the shortest curve between two points on a surface and this uh, application in theoretic physics uh, Lagrange function turn out to to fulfill the equation is the function of t qx and Q, qk and qk's derivative so it actually fit in this calculus of variation direct mass so it's something like this direct mass uh, Euler's mass may be elegant some other mass elegant calculate variation is elegant mass however it's difficult in certain application so the direct mass is you use approximation mass approximate the function and directly try to solve it and this is called directed mass 